Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today, we're gonna take a look at the 2004 Chevy Avalanche. Is it time to throw this thing in the trash and, and get the, the six or $700 worth of scrap that, it is, that it's worth, or is it time to fix this thing up? Well, today will be the determination of that. I'm gonna to try to attempt to repair uh, as much as I can on this thing to get it in working order, get it running. Um, and uh, fix the brake lines and other things. So let me just show you what, what it is, <laughs> what we have here. Um, it's been through a lot, this truck. It has served me very well for, the, for many, many years. Uh, it, is, it is very old, uh, but it doesn't have that many miles on it. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the condition this thing is in. The engine, these Chevy engines will, will just run forever. It's a great, so the, the V8 Vortec. Uh, it's a great engine. The, the frame and everything else on this truck though, unfortunately, it has never been stored inside. It has been outside. It hasn't been really taken care of in that regard and it is just rusting away. We've got brake lines rusting through. We've got the emergency brake cable has rusted through. You can see uh, a lot of rust uh, you know, on the frame and, and the mounts and, and it's, it's even getting hard to like replace things like this, like the shock mounts and other things are starting to get really weak. The handle uh, just I don't know, remember if the plastic broke on this or if, or if there's a mount missing here somewhere that had rusted off, but I actually have a replacement for this. This is something we can try to fix today. If I can get these, these all out, kind of broke free and cleaned up and, and maybe get that fixed. The front tires are completely toast. They're dry rotted and they have seen many, many more miles than they are worth. These are actually my favorite tires, the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAs. These are, I've had these on several trucks for many, many years. They are great tires, but they are not cheap. So to replace all these is quite a bit of money. So I put these cheaper ones on the back. These have already been replaced. These are just about brand new. Um, and I need to get another set for the front. The tailgate latch has seen better days. Uh, how I open this, I forget. I think I stuck a Leatherman in here somewhere. <laughs> I think it was this. Um, that's how I've been opening it for years actually. But this could be fixed. This can all be replaced. Maybe that's a junkyard find. This is damage from when the brake line went out. I was uncontrollably backing down our hill with a trailer full of wood behind the truck. It was just going and I couldn't stop it. I tried everything. Emergency brake, went to the floor, I put it in park, <laughs> tried everything. Nothing would work. And uh, jackknifed in the side of the trailer, came and smashed this. Uh, it also broke free the, the fuel neck. So this was a problem I had actually had previous to that. So I don't know if you can see in there, there's a piece of rubber hose that is duct taped with hose clamps on it. That is the fuel neck. That's how it's being filled right now. Lots of rust. And then of course the, the major problem here is the brake lines. Right up there on the, on the top, those are all the brake lines. One of them, well, they've all rusted through. This is the last one that I have to replace. It has been sitting for about six months. I was able to jump start it the other day and, and it runs fine, uh, but the battery is probably toast. So the interior, other than being dirty, uh, is not in too bad a shape. Um, the air conditioning does not work. The four wheel drive does work. Um, the radio kind of works. I think that the heat works okay. The fans and things like that. It's a little bit of dirt in here. So it has a currently 155,000 miles on it. So it's actually not too bad as far as mileage is concerned. So today we are gonna get started on a few things. We are gonna uh, get the brakes fixed first. That's a necessity. And I'm gonna get the, the oil in the engine, oil and oil filter changed. So that will be fresh and, and uh, uh, at, least, at least that will be taken care of. Uh, we'll maybe work on the door handle and, and kind of get it cleaned out and maybe wash it up a little bit and just see if there's any other major issues. It's been a good truck. I don't know, let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below. Um, is this a keeper or is this scrap? Uh, we'll see. That one's leaking actually. I've already replaced all these. You can see the new lines. That's the last one. I actually think I need to take this one off in order to get to this one. Because the only way to get these off is with a wrench, little by little. And it's kind of annoying, but it's important to not forget to put the fitting on there first. 
Well, look what I found. I must have uh, bought this when I did the other side. Totally forgot about it, but it's the whole uh, new connection piece that goes from the, the brake line to the actual caliper. So we'll put all this on there new as well because that's obviously getting pretty rusted out. So it gets uh, replaced right here. This is where the connection will take place. Got our new brake line run from the um, ABS unit. And we'll have to cut this, flare it, and put a fitting on it. And then uh, get this. Uh, and then hopefully this will last us uh, at least a little while. Looks like the battery didn't charge well. I use this. This has been in my emergency kit with the truck. And this, I have actually jump started three different vehicles and it's still at 74%. Love to build nests in here. Surprised it even got any air. Thank you. 
after all that cleaning, I turned the fan on, and it looks like there's a mouse nest somewhere in the fan ductwork. <laughs> it just blew stuff all over everywhere. I had it so clean. Well, you know what? It's old, it's rusty, <laughs> and it's dented. The thing still runs pretty good, so I think it's a keeper for now. I don't know what this is on the, the hood. I tried to scrub it off. It's like uh, it's like sap or something, or maybe it's maybe the paint's just worn right off, sun damage. I don't know. But you know, just cleaning it up a little bit, you know, makes it feel just a little less junky i don't think it's i don't know if it's been this clean in 10 years you got the emergency kit in here with the the jump starter uh just in case the battery dies again but i've been driving it now for a couple days around and back forth to work and it's working pretty good still have to deal with this the gas tank the problem is is that the the air um tube that goes down along with the fill neck is broken and so it's it it won't you can't fill it when you fill it with fuel you can only hold it down for you know maybe 15 seconds before it clicks the the gas pump you know clicks off because it thinks it's full it's filling up the neck it's not letting the air come out so you know it takes me a half an hour to sitting there 15 seconds at a time and then let the air you know catch up let the fuel go down the neck and do it again let the fuel go down so i gotta fix this and maybe get a new fill neck but it certainly isn't too bad of a truck uh, for doing what I need to do around here which is hauling wood hauling trailers um, you know picking up composted manure and picking up things from the farm store and just hauling things around uh, getting back and forth to work when I'm not using the bike I think it'll work so it has been quite a uh, <laughs> a journey for us with vehicles here over the last couple years so you know part of having a homestead or having a farm is, is having some kind of a truck that you can use for utility purposes that you're not afraid to, to ding up or dent up or you know scrape up or whatever it's got to be useful it's a tool and i don't want to baby stuff i don't like to you know if i'm going to get a truck i want to use it as a truck i want to blaze through the woods and pull out logs and and fill it to the brim so that the shocks are practically you know spitting out the sides of the thing and and haul as much wood as i can with it and and use it you know i want to i don't, I don't want to uh, I'm not going to the show with it. I'm, I'm using it as a tool. So so I now have again a farm truck a truck that I can use to do the utility things around here that I can haul things around with that I can you know uh, go get a load of manure with I'm not I don't care if it gets you know gets dirty. I know I spent all this time cleaning it up and that was just to fix it find what was wrong with it and just make it look a little nicer. It feels nicer. Than, than it used to just driving in it clean without all the dirt and straw and baling twine and all these things there were actually like probably four or five mice nests in this thing there was a mouse nest in the air cleaner a big one there was uh, definitely a mouse nest somewhere in the vents uh, of the of the vehicle when i turned the fan on all that stuff came spraying out into the vehicle i had to clean out little tissue paper pieces and mouse nest stuff there was definitely mice nesting under it i found a nest um, under the vehicle by the frame and when I backed it out, actually, for the first time, a bunch of mice came scurrying out from underneath it from somewhere. So throw your comments down below. Do you think the 2004 Avalanche is going to make it one more year for me? If I can make it another year, maybe I'll look around when prices come down on used vehicles. Uh, hopefully next year sometime I can, I can, uh, I can get a, a newer used truck that uh, uh, maybe a 2500 or maybe something that can haul a little more weight that's uh, not perfect but uh, that I can use as a utility truck around here. So don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. Love to hear from you guys. Throw your comments down below. Love to have you subscribe if this is your first time here. If you just found us out on the YouTube universe and, uh, and you're listening to this video, we'd love to have you subscribe and tag along. We do all kinds of uh, farmy type stuff, DIY projects, fixing things, breaking things, growing things, and all those kinds of things. Love to have you tag along. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.